<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, about three months ago, I wandered into, into Goose's office and uh, we had a little chat. And, and I asked him, I asked him, Goose, if my team makes quota in the months of May and June, will you give me the opportunity to speak in front of all of you? Because this is what I love to do. And Goose looked at me and he said, Logan, it is not if, it's when your team makes quota in the months of May or June. So ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce May 2008, my team made quota. And I'm in front of you. <laughs> But today isn't, isn't about me. In fact, today, actually, the reason why I'm up here, it's about you, everyone in this room. It's about the Phoenix market. How many people here are proud to work for Integra Telecom? Raise your hand. OK, OK. Let's try something out. Tell me you're proud to work for Integra Telecom. I'm proud to work for Telecom. <laughs> Smart. Awesome, now I feel good. I feel great. In fact, we're going to try this for everybody so everybody can share in this feeling. So I want everybody in this front row, first row, all the way back, and everybody in the front, first person on this, all the way back, to turn to the person on your left and turn to the person on the right and then shake their hand and tell them how proud you are to work for a type television. <laughs> But here's the key though, is, is that's not a lasting effect. 15 minutes from now, that same feeling that we all feel right now, and we're all feeling good, is probably gonna go away. So some of the keys that me as a sales manager, regardless of making quota, the my number one thing that I try to do for my team is teach them good habits. Teach my sales reps good habits. So I wanna teach everyone a good habit. Now this isn't a habit that I developed. I stole this from somebody else, several other people, but that's okay, because in sales, plagiarism's okay. <laughs> Regardless, does anybody know who uh, Jim Houston is? Yeah, that's, that's uh, my boss, my boss's boss, this is boss, up in Portland, Oregon. And if anybody's ever met Jim, he's a, he's a typical Oregonian, okay? You know, he's probably 30 years older than me, and I probably outweigh him by about 30 pounds. And being a typical Oregonian, he's a very good runner. Typical Oregonians, they're born runners from the start. They come running right out of mom, with, they got their Nikes on, they're like, cut me loose, doc, I gotta get to the track. And so they even have specialized nurses in Oregon to catch the kids as they come out. They got their Nikes on, and they're trained by NFL linebackers to catch these kids. So needless to say, Jim Huskin is a fantastic runner. So he comes into my office, and uh, he asks me, he's like, Logan, let's go for a run after work. And I look up at him, and you don't tell your boss's 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 boss, you know. So I'm like, okay, I'll be there. <laughs> So I developed a strategy to deal with Jim's run. And uh, does anyone know what a, 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 an open-ended question is? What's an open-ended question? Why don't you tell me what an open-ended question is? Perfect, exactly, that's what it is. So I thought that while I'm running along with Jim, that I could just ask him a bunch of open-ended questions, keep him talking while I can concentrate on breathing. <laughs> Folks, that didn't work. <laughs> because Jim, Jim, Jim asked me the questions. And he, one of the questions he asked me was, was, was Logan, how, how do we make the Phoenix market the number one market in Tegra? 
And, uh, and, I, and I respond, well, that's a million dollar question. I say, well, we're here at Integra, we, we answer million dollar questions. So I gave them all the things that I thought would make this market the number one market. <coughs> Everything that I thought, I felt at the time was the best thing. Except for when the weekend came and I realized that I didn't tell them the number one reason. The number one reason how we make this market number one. Does anyone know how we do it? It's through people. The Egyptians, they built these pyramids. And, and uh, the Egyptians first discovered, there's actually a bunch of pyramids that they built before, but they were destroyed because they realized that the way that you build a strong pyramid is by building a strong base. So similar to us, the way that we build a strong market isn't through having a charismatic leader or a fabulous manager, it's by having a strong base, a strong market, a strong 175 people that's in this room, okay? So how do we do that each and every day? How do we make each other stronger? Well, here's the key. How many people in this room have a significant other, husband or wife? Raise your hand nice and tall, proud. Come on, come on, come on. How many have children? And, and how many are like me in the other category that have neither? <laughs> okay. 